eerste exit poll hij wordt later The first results confirmed what most people in the Netherlands expected. Mark Rutte has done it again. The Dutch prime minister's led his centre-right party to victory for a fourth time in a general election. Rutte promised voters stability in a campaign that was dominated by the coronavirus pandemic. With the country under a nighttime curfew, there were no victory parties. Voters in the Netherlands uh, have given the, the, my party, the, the Dutch Liberal Party, an overwhelming uh, yeah, a vote of confidence. And it is humbling. Uh, it is also uh, forcing us to uh, do everything we can to make a success out of it. Voting was spread over three days and special polling stations were set up to allow for social distancing. More than 16,000 people have died of COVID in the Netherlands since the start of the pandemic. Far-right leader Gert Wilders conceded that the health crisis had overshadowed other issues, including immigration. I share that concerned about health care. There was a lot of problems about health care in the Netherlands as well. But they are also concerned about the normal routine life, you know, not only the economy, uh, but also indeed um, Islam or immigration. Wilders' party lost seats and slipped to third place behind the centrist D66 party, led by Foreign Trade Minister Sigrid Karg. This analyst says it was one of the election night's unexpected turns. Uh, which is a huge uh, a surprise. Uh, and also, they, they, this is way more than they had in all the polls during the past months. Uh, and it's probably because uh, their leader, Sigrid Kaag, um, has been doing very well in all the debates, has been a big surprise this campaign. Uh, so I think this has, uh, has drawn a lot of voters to D66 in these past few days. Mark Rutter has proved that he is a political survivor. He's been elected despite some criticism of his handling of the coronavirus pandemic. And two months ago, he and his whole government resigned over a child benefit scandal. But in the end, Dutch voters chose continuity and gave him another chance. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Amsterdam.